Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the constant bias scale note. So here's our quick little example. This one should be fairly simple and short. Our constant bias scale, if we go ahead and look at it right here, basically has one input and one output. The intent of the constant bias scale is to allow you to adjust things on a scale. Now there has two parameters, a bias and a scale. To put it simply, you're going to have an input. Let's say we have zero for our input. And let's say we hook it up. Now zero is our input. Now according to our constant bias scale, what we're going to do is we're going to add one to whatever our input is. And then we are going to multiply it by our scale, which is zero in this case. So as expected, zero plus one it's going to give us 1 times 0 is going to give us 0. And our output is going to end up being, hopefully what you expect of 0, a black color. Now if we were to change this to reset to our default values, change our scale back to 0.5, we're going to take 0 plus 1, multiply it by 0.5, and we're going to get a half white or a gray color. Now it doesn't seem like it's very good much use, but you could use it to control overdriving colors, or for example, you could use it to restrict things from having different sets of values. So for example, we have our sine here. If I was to pull up this picture of sine, a sine wave basically fluctuates between 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and 0, and we'll repeat in this fashion. It's a good common way, to, for example, to have something ticking and talking. If we were to plug our sine wave directly into our base color here, driven by time, what we're going to find is it flashing from black to white. It's going to stay at black, white, black, white constantly. Now if we were to drive that into our constant bias, we were to say, hey, let's go ahead and add one, and then we we're going to go ahead and hook that into our base color. What we're going to see is we're going to see a distinct lack of black and we're going to see more white. What we're doing, if I would not have closed down that picture, let's pull that back up, is we are taking the 0 to 1 and we're shifting it up 1. We're basically taking where it's 0 and adding 1, where it's 1 and adding 1, moving it to 2. And then what that ends up doing is our negative 1 ends up shifting down to 0. Because if we take our screen not cooperating, here we go. Let's take our constant bias scale, and let's go ahead and look at our values we set up. We set up a bias of 1 and a scale of 0.5. So we're taking our input value and adding 1, so we're shifting the entire thing up 1, and then we're multiplying it by 0.5, or cutting it back in half. So our 0 to 1 is now 1 to 2, cut in half is now 0 to 1 again, but our negative 1 is going to the zero and then cutting it in half again and we're getting less of a value. So that is what the constant bias scale does. Basically it's really simple. Takes the input, adds the bias, and then multiplies it by the scale. Gives you the output and that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.